We have entered a new golden age of transportation engineering. Many different companies are on the cutting edge of developing self-driving cars and networked vehicles and infrastructure. At Google X in Silicon Valley, engineers are dreaming big and producing one of the world's first truly autonomous vehicles. Auto driving. I think that we're at the dawn of a new uh, frontier, really, with self-driving cars. When our car drives, it's reasoning about a lot more than you would realize. It knows about the pedestrian in front of you, the fact that there's a crosswalk, that there's an intersection up ahead, that we need to wait for a green light to happen before we can go through it, and that there's someone coming up behind us on a bicycle or in a car. All of that information is being computed on the car in real time, all the time. We are learning by leaps and bounds, and we continue to take all of that learning and build it into future versions of software. On top of that, we can go into our closed course testing, and we can run hundreds of tests every week. Test drivers are constantly giving feedback on how the car handles every possible scenario. Uh, the first part of driving is pretty simple. You stay between the paint, you obey traffic laws, and you don't hit the person in front of you. Uh, but to take one example, four-way stops are a lot more challenging than you would think. So what we found was we needed to teach the car how to interact with other people by nudging forward a little bit and asserting itself. That's how human beings drive in a four-way stop, and we needed to mimic that in order to drive in a real world with real people. Cameras are really great at distinguishing color. So when you go up to a stoplight and you need to know if it's a red light or a green light, our camera systems do that very well for us. The lasers are amazing at seeing two football fields away and seeing 360 degrees around the car many, many times per second. They paint a 3D picture of the world around us. And so we know how fast that car is coming at us. We know if we can squeeze in for that lane change or do that merge with our radars. Mapping is another critical component to help self-driving cars understand the world around them. You may think that you're able to drive without a map just fine, but really you have a map in your head that's telling you a lot of information. Think about how comfortable you are driving, you know, the last couple of blocks to your house into your driveway. You know that path back and forth. Imagine if we can make our car that comfortable, not just in your neighborhood, but everywhere. And when we learn something about one part of the world, we can tell all the cars at the same time. With this expertise, focus, and effort of the engineering teams at Google, how will self-driving cars change our world? I think self-driving cars do three fundamental things for us. One, they make the world safer. If you look at it, 1.2 million people worldwide are killed every year in traffic-related fatalities. And our system is never distracted, it's never drunk, and so I think we're building a very safe system that can make the world a better place. Then there is giving people back mobility. There are a lot of people in this world who can't drive. They're too old, they're too young, they have some kind of um, handicap, and I really want a world where everybody has mobility if they want it. And then the third thing is really giving people back time. Uh, the average commute for a worker in the United States alone is 50 minutes every single day. And imagine what you would do with an extra hour in your life every day. And so I'm just really motivated by building something that can change the world in so many different aspects. Hyperloop is developing a rapid transport system that will push people and goods from Los Angeles to San Francisco in 30 minutes. One day, in the not too distant future, millions of people may be riding an autonomous vehicle or being shuttled in a Hyperloop system at record-breaking speeds. I think engineers can help solve the greatest problems by working together and bringing together bright minds from different diverse backgrounds and perspectives. I wouldn't be able to make a dent in this problem on my own and I rely on working with a lot of really brilliant teammates to make progress on this. And I love that in engineering it's a creative expression of problem solving and that the answers are unique to you because you've solved those problems. To any young people interested in engineering, I would tell you if you have any interest in taking things apart, figuring out how they work, putting them back together, go for it. We are in a new dawn of transportation engineering and the future is looking brighter every day.